Welcome back. We have a couple of sitting crisis finding solutions updates for you tonight. Our first update is from our story last week along Southeast Steel Street. Their neighbors expressed frustration over a long line of homeless motorhomes and tents parked along Steel near 32nd. The city of Portland had tagged the vehicles a day earlier, giving them 72 hours to leave. A school bus stop right in the middle of the homeless camps had to be moved down the street by Portland Public Schools. We went back out to the neighborhood this week to see if the vehicles had moved. They were still there, and so was the city's parking enforcement. They told us due to the excessive hot temperatures, the RVs would be allowed to stay until next week. They told us they would be back next week to follow up, and we'll check to see if they do. And something else happened. Remember neighbors Dan Flannery and Susan McCauley who complained about having three cars stolen? When I went back this week, they told me their trailer had been stolen from in front of their home over the weekend. They had placed an Apple tracker on the trailer because they'd had so many vehicles stolen and were able to find the trailer along Burnside, so they brought it back home. The thieves had tried to cut off the wood panels from the bed of the trailer. They cut here, they cut here, and then it's all on the other side, too. All of these are cut too. All three sides, all three of them. And this was just a couple of days after we talked to you. Yeah, I, th I thought of you. I thought, oh, Steve needs to know about this. <laughs> Uh, Dan and Susan are happy to have the trailer back, and now they'll be watching to make sure the city follows through on moving the tagged vehicles next week. 